Daniel, tell us a little bit more about how the technology actually works. So procedural telemedicine, which is the technology that Avail has created, is really to address the fundamental need that surgeries in all types, ranging from 25% of the time to even 100% of the time for pacemakers, need outside expertise in, in the operating room to be able to conduct those, those surgeries. The way the technology works is we have a dedicated piece of purpose-built hardware that has cameras uh, and, and image processing equipment in it. And then there's plugins for all those things that doctors need to be able to conduct a surgery. If you think about minimally invasive surgery uses cameras, we have plugins for the cameras. We have plugins for x-ray machines and the like into the back. And remotely, what somebody's able to do is participate in a procedure by accessing all of those video images in real time. Everything they see remotely and choose to watch is then displayed directly on the screen okay. inside the operating room. So and hospitals are notoriously underfunded. What exactly is the cost of the hardware and, and, and how do you make money on this? Tell us about the math. So we actually place our dedicated hardware into operating rooms without charging for the hardware. We are essentially a time-based SaaS model. We charge for access to that hardware in a network of operating rooms across the country. So who's buying? Give us some names of the folks who are interested in this technology. So we have contracts with over a dozen medical device companies, and by those I mean the largest companies in the world that make knees and pacemakers and hip implants and that sort of thing. I'm bound by contract where I can't actually say the names of most of them, but one of the ones that has given us permission is Smith & Nephew. They make uh, knee implants, hip implants, and other orthopedic medical devices. Now, if I'm a patient and I'm going through a surgery, don't I want the medical expert by my side? Am I losing anything by using this technology? What you actually want as a patient is the expertise in the room. And as it turns out, they can't always be there. Logistics makes that difficult. If you have two places to be at once, you can't do that. With our technology, one of those experts can be in a procedure, finish it, go down the hall into another room and be available for a procedure in another location. We actually increase access to expertise that way. Has the pandemic then boosted your bottom line? Has there been an, a, you know, increased demand because of the circumstances we are facing? Most certainly. So initially with the pandemic, the interest in our technology went up dramatically, but that was more about access than it was anything else. What quickly became obvious to the medical device companies is actually this is a better way of doing business. Fundamentally, for the last 40 years, expertise can only be delivered in person. We allow expertise to be delivered from anywhere to anywhere. That leads to the better expertise during a procedure, better outcomes, and ultimately a lower cost for care delivery using what we call procedural telemedicine, which is a mobile version of support like I've described. 